Hi guys, this is going to be the last book that I read to you on our journey. It is called Brush Your Hair, Medusa by Joan Hullab and Leslie Partricelli. It is published by Abrams Appleseed in New York. So here we go. Medusa. Hairbrush. Grandma's coming over, Medusa. Time to brush your hair. No, wait! First, I have to show you some somersaults. Let's brush that hair, Medusa. Okay, I'll brush my mermaid's hair. We need to brush your hair, Medusa. Hey, look, Grandma's here. <laughs> look at Grandma's face. That's it, Medusa. Grandma's taking you for a candy? Candy, I knew it. See, she got a little sucker at the, at the hairdresser. Medusa, now it's time to brush your teeth. So Medusa's wild hair. Medusa was a sea monster with hair made of snakes. Anyone who dared to look at her was turned to stone. King Polydectes sent a man named Perseus to stop Medusa from scaring everyone. But how could Perseus do that without getting turned to stone himself? The Greek gods Hermes and Athena gave him protection. A sickle as sharp as scissors and a mirrored shield. Nymphs gave him a pair of winged sandals so he could fly to the island where Medusa lived. As the clever Perseus battled Medusa, he gazed at her reflection in his mirrored shield, instead of looking directly into her eyes, so he was not turned to stone. Perseus was able to de defeat Medusa and tame her snaky hair. I love Greek mythology and I hope this has encouraged you to look more into it. I know I generally read three books to you, but it was kind of hard to find some books that would work for this. Um, but I definitely recommend getting online or going to your local library and finding some books about Greek mythology. Bye! Until next time!